To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. Hey, it's Rand from Music Nomad, here to talk about all the features and benefits of our high quality precision setup gauges using the Keep It Simple Setup Method. Hey, it's Jeff Luttrell, Master Guitar Tech and owner of San Francisco Guitar Works and Sonoma County Guitar Works, and I'm here to show you how to use all the precision gauges used in the Keep It Simple Setup Method. Being able to measure your neck relief is a critical step in the setup process. Music Nomad's Precision Truss Rod Gauge will help you do it quickly and accurately. Equipped with the three most common relief measurements, 6, 8, and 10 thousandths of an inch, and instructions printed right on the handle, the truss rod gauge takes the guesswork out of the truss rod adjustment. It's perfect for electric, acoustic, classical, and bass guitars. It's made of premium stainless steel construction without the annoying, messy oil found on traditional feeler gauge sets. We even included an innovative pick capo to assist in the process and it comes with a convenient hang hole. Proper neck relief is extremely important for optimal playability. Uh, with no neck relief, you have to adjust your action higher to create clearance for the vibrating string. But if you put the proper amount of neck relief into the guitar, you're able to lower your action and have a more even action from the nut to the bridge. So I'll be using our truss rod adjustment gauge to uh, measure the amount of relief I have in the neck. And this is a pretty cool little gauge. Um, normally if you go down and buy a set of feeler gauges at the auto parts store, at the hardware store, they've got from about one and a half thousandths up to 25 thousandths. You, you just don't need all those. Um, also, they're usually covered in oil and it's really time consuming and frustrating to have to deal with that, either cleaning it all off or just having oil on your hands all the time you're working on somebody's beautiful instrument. So this gauge has the three most common relief measurements on it. It's six thousandths of an inch, eight thousandths of an inch, and ten thousandths of an inch for electric guitar, acoustic guitar and bass, or classical guitar. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to uh, measure my neck relief and then I will adjust my truss rod if needed in order to set the proper amount of relief for this instrument. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install the pick capo at the first fret. Now the reason for that is I want to have my string held down at the first fret without me having to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pick capo and put it over the low E string, under the A string, and over the D string. Then I'm just going to slide it up to the first fret. Now that has held my string down at the first fret so I can manipulate the guitar and take my measurement without having to hold that down in that position. So with the instrument in tune, I'm going to put it in the playing position. And that's really important because if you have your guitar laying on a cradle cube, you are imparting some force on the neck that will actually change your neck relief because of the, uh, the weight of the guitar pushing the neck forward. With the instrument in the playing position, I will press the low E string down at the 12th fret. I will select the six thousandths of an inch gauge and I will use that to measure the gap between the sixth fret and the string. So I'll take my gauge, put it between the sixth fret and the string, and using the touch rule, I will know that if the gauge heavily contacts the string and the fret, that the neck does not have enough relief and it needs more curvature. So to achieve that, I will loosen the truss rod by turning the truss rod nut counterclockwise to introduce more relief into the neck. If I put my truss rod gauge between the fret and the string and it does not touch, there's a gap between the gauge and the string and the fret, I will know that the neck has too much relief and I will need to tighten my truss rod by turning the truss rod nut clockwise. If I put my gauge between the string and the fret and it lightly touches both the string and the fret, I will know that my neck relief is correct and I don't need to make a truss rod adjustment. On an acoustic guitar, you would select the 8 thousandths of an inch truss rod gauge. After having selected your 8 thousandths of an inch gauge for an acoustic guitar, with your guitar in the playing position, you will depress the string, low E string, at the 12th fret, insert your gauge between the 6th fret and the string, and follow the touch rule. Uh, on a Gibson, there's a truss rod cover over the truss rod nut, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that first. Okay, having taken off my truss rod cover, I now have access to the truss rod nut. Having followed the touch rule, I know that this guitar has a little bit too much relief. So I'm going to need to tighten the truss rod. 
I will do that by turning the truss rod nut clockwise. I have my correct 5 16 wrench for the Gibson truss rod nut. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wrench seated solidly on the nut. You wanna really make sure that you have your wrench down on the nut fully so you don't strip it. So when you're, when you're adjusting your truss rod nut, if the nut feels really tight, you should turn it a little bit to the left to break it loose and make sure that it's actually turning freely. This nut feels fine. Um, they usually will turn pretty easily. If you have one where it's just completely tight, do not try to force it. So I'll tighten the truss rod by turning the wrench clockwise about an eighth of a turn. Now I'll put the guitar back in the playing position, get my truss rod gauge with my six thousandths of an inch gauge, and I will remeasure the gap between the sixth fret and the string. And now the gauge just touches the string and the fret, so I know I have the proper amount of relief in this neck. So if after you adjust your truss rod, you find that either you still haven't gone far enough or you went a little bit too far, just follow the steps going a little bit at a time until you're able to zero in on that perfect relief setting. To perform your own setup, make sure you check out all Music Nomad's Keep It Simple setup gauges and tools. Not only is the Keep It Simple setup fun, but a properly set up guitar takes your playing and sound to a whole new level. That's Music Nomad quality, raising the bar in equipment care.